Welcome to Watch IQ Watch Reviews. On this channel, I review my watches in my watch collection and provide informative details on the watch features and specifications. If you like the channel, please subscribe and hit the like bell so you can get notified on my new videos. Hello and welcome to Watch IQ. Today I have a Casio GLX 6900, module 3194, and this is a special edition. It has the moon phase and the tide on it. And it has, this thing's loaded down. It has multiple alarms, two stopwatches, world time. And this was sold to me as a non-runner. I stuck a new battery, which is a CR2025. And it came alive. It just, the thing was really beat up. And here's the original band it came with. It's kind of beat up, kind of brown and dingy. I'm like, ah, I'm not putting that on my wrist. And then here's the bezel, really bad. So plan is to uh, put a new band on it, new bezel, and then kind of go over the uh, the watch, how to set it up. And these can still be these can still be found on auction sites for a really good price. This was I think a twenty five dollar watch. It didn't even work, and it was just really beat up. And I like buying watches like that because I know that I can restore them. You spend a little bit of time on them, and then, uh, you know, we're off to the races right here, right? So, um, the watch was really, really tore up, right? And it had some kind of like red dye on it, and I couldn't get it all off. So, I ended up um, put a new, put a new um, gasket on it for the back here, new battery, and then the battery lasts about you know, about two years in these watches. So this was made. Uh, these watches, the 6900 low temp series, was made in like 2010. So these can still be had, uh, like I said, on auction sites. I got mine on eBay for real, real cheap, right? So, um, so I ended up buying a new band. It took eight weeks for this band to come in, and I'm really happy. It's a genuine part from uh, Casio. go so new band g light band g light is for like surfing right and then here is uh japan on the buckle so surfing being low temp so if you want to swim in like cold cold water this lcd won't like freeze up on you and then of course your new bezel right here really nice it's really flexible so Typically, if you get these and they're really like rigid, you can stick them in warm water and it softens them up so you can get them on your bezel. I usually put this on last. It's just easier that way. I just try to get my band on because I can see the pin drop in the holes. And these bands, just to let you know, they're not like easy to get on here, right? So uh, they're really stiff and they don't flex very well. And then um, the, the older ones, right, that's been on there forever, they really flex, see how flexible that is. So these newer bands are kind of a pain to get on, but I'm going to try to do it with one, one go with you guys here. So uh, first thing first is the band, and then we can go with the bezel. Then I want to go over the settings of the watch, how to set it up, how to set the latitude launch shoot up uh, for the moon phase, and then the tide, and then go from there. All right. So... This is a 16 millimeter pin that goes in here, and I usually try to drop it in one hole first and then kind of like slide the band on. It's just easier that way. And these pins can be kind of finicky occasionally. Sometimes they don't want to go in, especially with these really stiff bands. You got to find the hole. And sometimes they drop in, sometimes they, didn't, sometimes they don't. You can see it's still moving around. It hasn't dropped in the hole yet. And you, sometimes you can hear it like drop, drop in the hole, which is really satisfying. So it looks like it dropped in a hole. So then the next one, and just remember the, the actual free loop and the buckle goes towards the top on these watches. So. I have some other watches that I, I want to do a video on. 
I have this really cool watch I have had in my collection for a long time that I want to kind of break out for you. It's really cool. And that looks like it dropped right in. Next step is the uh, bezel. And basically really simple. You just kind of, since this is already pliable, you don't have to put it in any kind of hot water or anything, but uh, typically you have to put these in kind of hot water so that it makes it really pliable. So this is really good. And it just snaps right over this thing, right over the buttons. And then boom, you're done, right? And then you stick your, well, you're not really done, but you have to stick your screws in. And these are the screws that come with the bezel. And you see how it was really easy to put the, uh, uh, put the band on first and then the bezel. So I gotta change this out. This is a flathead. I'm gonna put a Phillips on this. And uh, let me see if this one works. I really liked, uh, really liked these G lights. I have quite a few of these things. And I didn't have this one in my collection, so I was like, I gotta get one of these. And it was really cheap. I'm like, I can do something with this watch. It's not a, it's not a lost cause, so I can uh, definitely use it. Uh, put it, put it back together and add it to my collection. So I'm really happy with uh, the way this is gonna turn out. And yeah, it looks really nice. I have a G. 2500 on today and right now it's on dual time which is really cool a feature of this this is a that one came this g2500 came from malaysia it's a special edition it has like a, a character in the lcd and when you hit the light uh, you can see the character Okay, there you are. This is the uh, the new, even improved, I believe, for me anyway. New and 6900 GLX 6900, and you can see it has the uh, world time on it here. New new band, new bezel, new life, right? You still see a little bit of the uh, red stain here. I don't know if it got into some red dye or something, but couldn't get that off and I didn't want to like damage it uh, so I was like yeah I could live with that you won't be able to see that in my case anyway in my collection so definitely uh, definitely a nice looking watch so next phase I guess is to set this up for you so this is a five button watch right so you have an adjust button you have a mode button the adjust buttons is to set your time and your date and also you set your latitude longitude and um your if your, your daylight savings time or your gmt time or whatever you want to set in there for your your time zone and then the second this button here is your mode button so you can go into like your moon phase and you can advance through the the days and it actually show you the uh, moon phase which is really cool all right and then next is your stopwatch you have stopwatch one and then you start stops the bottom right and then you reset is up here top right and then also you have a stopwatch two really cool i've never seen a watch that has two stopwatches like that so that's really neat and then you have a timer it kind of shows you a little arrow here and then you have like a split and you can do a reset here so it's a 24 hour countdown timer and then you could stop and then you reset up here top right and you have an alarm right so alarm one two three four and then you had a signal right so your hourly signal and then your snooze you can set up a snooze too And then here's your world time. You can scroll through your world time. So right now, let's see here, Mexico, and then Denver, LAX. But right now, there's nothing set on this watch, so all these times are inaccurate. 
So let's go ahead and go through the adjust, all right? So let's go ahead and adjust it. So this watch here now, um, just press and hold the adjust button. And then you can adjust you can adjust your time here. So the time right now is 2.30. It says 2.31. So let's go ahead and adjust the time. So right now, daylight savings time is off, which is correct. We don't want that on right now. And then here's your UTC time. So UTC for me is negative five. So we're gonna go all the way down to negative five right there. All right. And then let's go ahead and do our time. We said it was 2.32 p.m. So let's go all the way around 2.32 p.m. Yeah. And then your year up here flashing. So year is going to be 2024. I just found out today is going to be a, a total solar eclipse, which is going to be really cool. I can't wait for that. I'm going to go up and see that. So then your today is the is February, and I believe it is. Let's see on my watch here. 18th. So today is the 18th. We can go forward and backward on this. So let's go 18. There we go. And then I also like this at the top here. You see it like a, it's like a light icon. You can actually um, you can actually change it from uh, minimal to maximum right now. So it's on maximum. And then once you're done with this, you just hit the adjust button again, and it pulls you into your la longitude. So to your longitude on this, you have to use these buttons to kind of go through your latitude and longitude. You can find your latitude and longitude on, just go online like Google and type in your, your city or your country or whatever, you know, your town, and it should give you the lat long. So where I'm at now in Virginia, it's, uh, 77 west so we're going to scroll all the way through 77 west we're going to go backwards and see if we can get 77 here real quick i'm kind of curious if you have to go all the way through this to get to the east and west to see let's find out what happens when i hit zero now so i'm just going to put it on 77 i'd probably change that east to west on the next button. So, say five, say six, seventy-seven, man. Okay. And then you can change it. Yep. So let's go west. There we go. Okay. Then next. Okay. So, the INT. Okay. I'm going to explain this to you as best as I can do it. Right. So there's actually a calculator online that will actually help you configure this, but I'm going to kind of like explain it to you as best as I can. So what this is a lunar tidal interval, right? And what you can do is do a search for Casio INT, right? And it will give you what, what it means, right? It will give you like the definition, but you need to know a few things, right? So there's a calculator. You have to plug in your, latitude and longitude and if you let it you can actually have it search for your latitude and just do a search and it will actually find your latitude and longitude based on your location right on your browser so mine is uh i calculated after i i did all the calculations it comes to 1043 so if i put 1043 in here that's going to be my next it's going to be my next um high tide on a particular date so on 224 it's going to be my next high tide or next full moon right 224 geolocation is your first step the second step is your moon transit right so your moon full moon is going to be on 224 24 and then it will transit it transits um on 224 24 and then what you need to do is put your next high tide in after zero which is midnight and then at through 455 
4.58 a.m. What's the next high tide after that time? The next high tide is going to be on 2.24.24 at 06.41 a.m. That will be my next high tide. So I did the calculation and it comes out to 10.43. So I just need to add that in here, 10.43. And it goes by uh, 24 hours, right? So the so after 12, it's going to be 13, 14, 15. So it's going to be like military time. So we're just going to put 10.43 in here. And that will give, it should set my watch up. So there's a calculator online. If you know all your information, you can just enter it in there. So 10.43. I mean, that should be it. So right now it's got, it's not really a full moon where I'm at. And right now it's, it's coming up, coming up out of low tide and it's going towards a high tide again. So, which is really, uh, I like this watch. This is really cool. So a quarter is like half a moon and then um, coming up out of a low tide now. So really cool watch and the band seems to be holding I'll put the new pin in this side over here and it seems to be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. Again, this is my G2500. I picked this up on an auction site uh, over in Japan and I really liked it. I like the blue colors, it's in really, really good shape. And it has this like unique watch back on it and it has like a character in it. Like you hit the light. This does a 20 right there. You can't really see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. I'm gonna, I don't, this is the first time I put this thing on since I put the new band on, so let's see how it goes. Oh, yeah, wow, looks nice. I like these colors the red, the green, the white. This is like loaded down with color, so I'm gonna turn the light out and then I'm gonna see what the uh, backlight looks like. Yeah, here we go. Nice. So I have that turned on extra long. So I believe that might be three seconds. It seemed like three seconds. It might be five seconds. Let's try it one more time. Let's count. Yeah, that's definitely five seconds. Really cool looking watch. from 2010. Like I said, you can still get these. You can still get parts for them too, so that's really cool. So these 6900 models, they make a lot of these different models. and But the, the G-Lides, really, I like them. I like to collect them, so really cool watch. And really happy with it. Turned out really good. Band feels good. It's a little stiff yet, you know, it's going to take a while, i got to break it in. I might wear it a couple days around the house and then get it broken in. You can hear it like creaking, making noises because it's so stiff. I had a heck of a time getting these pins in there, the spring bars in there, so really nice. Thank you for watching my, my video. Um, thank you for subscribing and hitting the like bell. If you like the channel, please uh, hit the like bell and uh, you'll get notified when I put out a new video. I'm actually working on a, a GLX. Actually, no, it's a, this right here. It's a GW, it's a GX 5600 BB. It's the king. And I, I'm gonna redo this one too. This one needs a new band and a new bezel. I have all the parts for it. They finally came in. I'm gonna, that's my next video. So if you're interested, pop in. I'm gonna redo that one too. So. Thank you. Have a good one.